Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Happy Monday. Happy, Happy Monday. Monday. It's a yeah. special Monday. Actually, you know what? It is the you know what's special about today? What's it is the day? day after Valentine's Day? It, it is the day after mm. Valentine's Day. Did you guys do anything special for Valentine's Day? Well, I think I, I was talking to you guys. Yes, absolutely. I made dinner last night and it was delicious. You do you want to know what I made? <laughs> what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> made ribeye steak, prime cut, along with some uh, along with some scallops, perfectly done, and asparagus, with a nice bottle of red blend wine. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Wow! Mm -hmm. you out. wow. You I know. I know. I should have came over your house and brought my plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd have to. You had to fend Donna off, so I, I don't know if that worked. <laughs> Oh, very uh, sweet. It was very quiet night in the Clarity household, so which was actually really nice. You know, um, reservations were already booked up everywhere at all the big restaurants and just kind of everywhere. So we were able to land a nice reservation over in um, Hawks Prairie in McDonald's. So they've got parking <laughs> spots and we found a good open spot with our food. <laughs> We celebrated. We we had some Big Macs and fries, and life was good. You so, know what? I can um, dig that, Steve. That sounds that sounds pretty good to me. You know what? Actually, that does sound pretty good. That that actually sounds pretty good. Hey, just good company and a nice meal. That's what. What else do you need, right? There you go. That's yeah, it. We did. We kept it simple. Pizza and a movie. So, and like like every other weekend, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but this, this one was Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. It was a heart shaped pizza, right? I wish, but no. <laughs> this is a circle. You know what? Better yet, if next time, just uh, make your own heart out of it. Because if you order, you're going to order the same uh, pizza, same price, but you just get less. So order the pizza, then pizza cut around it. Make your heart. The thing is, we're very specific on our pizza. We are um, stuffed crust. We are a stuffed crust family. Mm. So getting a heart-shaped stuffed crust pizza, I don't think that they they would be able to do it. I don't know. But uh, we'll try next year. Next year. Yeah. Right on. Well, it was Valentine's Day. And today is another uh, holiday. Actually, today is a holiday. It's President's Day. So we are celebrating um, President's Day today, a national holiday. And um, and so we have a fun day that's coming up uh, for you. We've got so the, super fun. But we also want to recognize a couple of other days, which um, is Randy Rayala's birthday is on the 16th, which is tomorrow. And happy, Cass birthday. happy birthday, Randy. And then Cassidy Perkins is celebrating anniversary, her work anniversary on the 18th. So happy anniversary. Ooh, ooh. I am watering here. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> whenever it's I just... hear the word, whenever I hear the word anniversary, I think of like when we used to jam in the office and Steve would blast the song. It's like it's your, it's our anniversary. 20, 20, 20. Oh yes, that was. Do you know what today is? Yep, that's right. It's so, our anniversary. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that song. So we, so Christy, you are our fearless leader. Tell us what we're doing today. Well, today we have a few different trivia questions. You know, I love my trivia questions. We have a few trivia questions and fun facts about uh, our presidents. Awesome. Are you guys ready for this? I'm going to throw it up on the yeah. screen. It's President's okay. Day. Let's see what kind of crazy fun facts we can dive into here. <laughs> what we can step into. <laughs> All right. Just wipe it off our shoes when we're done. <laughs> we were talking about music. We need some. We need some President's Day music, don't we? Yeah. You know, uh, we were talking about that, and we're the whole pomp and circumstance. And I was almost feeling like I needed to have like the pole, like walking down. Does that make sense, or am I like crazy? Are you talking about on sticks, like? Da, 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 da. Oh, oh! I thought you were talking about like Uncle Sam. You know how you normally see Uncle Sam on stilts. That's not. Oh, no. no. 
Okay. <laughs> I, I might actually break. I have not. I need wood. I have not broken anything yet, but I'm afraid I would. There you go. There you go. Right on. There he goes. There you go. <laughs> All right. We got Ready to get this started? Yes. Let's go. All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so funny. So I guess, uh, uh, am I going to start this? So with yes, you are. Residential fun facts. Okay. So the first one says George Washington was fearful of being buried alive. So he directed that his body not be buried for three days after his death, just in case. Wow. Did you guys know that? You know what? Uh, I have prevented myself from being buried alive many times. Okay. Nice job, Turkey. <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh my job. God. I didn't know that. He was afraid of being buried alive. So he was like, Yeah, don't bury me for three days. Just Wasn't that during that time frame way back in way back when they actually were burying people alive? Um because <laughs> I, I forgot. It was like a disease. Was it that was a like circus a ride? Like a circus train? Pay five shekels and be buried alive. Okay. You mean accidentally buried alive? Accidentally oh, buried okay. alive. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they have bells on at cemeteries, right? Bells that went down into the coffins. You guys never heard this in history? <laughs> I actually, you know what, Steve? That actually does sound somewhat familiar. Yeah. So, you know what? I think you're on to something. Yeah, I really thought those bells were for room service, though. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, I'm done. Wow. <laughs> I'm a little hungry down here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We have another fun fact, right? Yeah, we do. Absolutely. All right. Fun, presidential fun fact. Abraham Lincoln often stored things like letters and documents in his top hat. And you know what? I believe it because <laughs> right here, I have our listing yeah. launch roll it sequence. And I bet you he had his Gettysburg address four score and seven years ago. Our fathers brought forth this continent. Blah. Oh, I shouldn't say blah, 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 because it's a very important uh, speech. <laughs> but that's about what I remember. Oh man, I kind of wish I kind of wish we were more prepared. I would have like brought so either a top hat or like a powdered wig, you know, to get in the mood. I, I was feeling a little bit like kid from Kid and Play when I was doing that. <laughs> Wait, Jurgen, how long have you had that in your hat? This has been uh, like a since uh, Valentine's Day. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we are ready for our first trivia question. Are you guys ready? Yep, we're, we're ready. All right. Oh, apparently the slide's not. All right. Presidential trivia. Who was the 35th American president? Was it A, Dwight D. Eisenhower, B, Lyndon B. Johnson, C, Richard Nixon, or D, John F. Kennedy? I go for E, none of the above. Oh, that's not an option. I know all four of them were in the rotation. So... <laughs> Well, I remember seeing the answer, so put your uh, put yours in the comments. See if you're right in just a moment. All right, you want to give it uh, five more seconds? You guys lock your answers in. Okay, I am. I'm. Locked. Ooh, I'm locked in. I'm All locked right. In with Final answer. All right, and the answer is D. Yes, it is John F. Kennedy. <laughs> this is horrible. Right. I saw that answer earlier and I still <laughs> couldn't get it right. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's probably the only one that I'll I'll get right today. But All right, next presidential fun fact. So a next presidential fun fact, Washington wasn't just America's first president. He was also our first mule breeder. Mules <laughs> equal a mix of horse and donkey. Recognizing the value of the mule for farmers, Washington is believed responsible for creating the mule stock that powered American agriculture in the South for generations. I Interesting. Did not, did not know that. 
So there were no mules before Washington. He created yeah. a mule. Well, he was a, maybe the first mule breeder. So yeah. there was mules. No, mule mule is a cross between a horse and a donkey, which means yeah. he like he was like hmm. Was he the first Did he one? He figured it out. So he, he was the first one that they they didn't exist before him. I I, I guess not because if that's the mix and he made the first one. Because it'd be a weird one to do. Because if I remember, I don't think mules themselves can breed. Once exactly. they become a mule, like that's it. You're done. Your your line stops. Your lineage stops with you. That's okay, crazy. I got to admit <laughs> that I didn't realize a donkey and mule were two different <laughs> animals. I thought the mules and donkeys were one and the same. No. They're, and they're, they're bred because of like their power and they have like all the best aspects of each of those. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, right. They're the penultimate. That's why it ends with them. Uh, you don't know how much education I'm getting here today. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the next fun fact? Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. So Abraham Lincoln was an accomplished wrestler, said to have only been defeated one time in approximately 300 wrestling matches. He, in recent history, was honored in the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Wow. Yes. So he, he was thrown down. He was an actual wrestler. He was not a wrestler. I wonder if he wrestled in his top hat. Well, I don't think he wore a top hat. It's, uh, he wore the stove pipe. Oh, the uh, stove pipe hat. Yeah. yeah. Did I say stove pot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Next trivia question. All right. Which president had an alligator as a pet? Was it A, James Madison, B, Quincy Adams, C, John T T Tyler, or D, Andrew Johnson? Quincy Adams. It was Quincy wow. Adams. You just, you, did you see he the was, answer or something? You he, seemed really positive about that. He seemed really sure about this. Like, yeah. he knows his alligator facts. Like, he knows. Are you on Google? It's all about alligators. <laughs> uh, you know, I, and just to be contrarian, I'm going to go with uh, – John Tyler. I was gonna guess Quincy because I, I Quincy Adams because Q and A. It's like the question and answer. It's got to be both. But all right, Davina, any? Uh... I'm gonna go for A. James Madison. Final answer. Yeah. All right. I'll get well, it. Tastes like chicken. Steve, Steve oh. takes the cake here. Quincy Adams. <laughs> oh man. And then I put a little fun fact there on the side for you. Quincy Adams kept his unusual pet in the East Room of the White House. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So that's wow. the room nobody went in. There's alligators. <laughs> there were alligators really? in the White House. <laughs> All right. Presidential fun fact. Ulysses S. Grant was born Hiram Ulysses Grant, but changed his name because he did not like his monogram, Hug. Hey, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that's a great That's a great monogram. I know. Right? I, I would have kept it. But you know, some uh, one of your soldiers is just uh, not having a good day. Come over to U.S. Hug. He'll take care of you. Man, I would have been all over the hug. Yeah. Well, well he was all over the hug. He was done with it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next presidential fun fact: So, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson both died within hours of each other on the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence in 1826. Yep, that's true. <laughs> These should be true in both. <laughs> 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 right? it's, it's a fact, Jurgen. so yes. That is true as well, Davina. I knew that one. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's test your, your knowledge there, Jurgen. in the next one with the next trivia question. All right. Which president had the most children? Was it A, Theodore Roosevelt, B, Benjamin Harrison, C, John Tyler, or D, Rutherford B. Hayes? Mm. Benjamin Harrison. Is that your final answer? You want to call, answer. phone in a friend? No? Just final answer? Yeah. You know, I'm going to go with Teddy Roosevelt because he was kind of the, back in the day, he was the man's man and, you know, he was a rough rider. I just... Something about him says he was a viral man. 
No, maybe I shouldn't say viral. Viral? <laughs> <laughs> viral, I don't think is what I meant to say. Oh, gosh. I, you know what? I'm stumped on this one. And since you and Jurgen, or Jurgen and Steve did A and B, I'm just going to go for, you know what? My, I'm going to go for D, for Davina. <laughs> All right. Is that everyone's final answer? Yes. Sure. Well, you just missed it. Because if you would have voted C, oh, John Tyler. Yeah, so John Tyler, uh, President Tyler had 15 children from two separate marriages, fathering his last child when he was 70 years old, just two years before his death. Wow. Wow. JT. I almost said C. Did you hear me? I went C. Yes, you did. You second guessed yourself. Yeah. I did. <laughs> almost doesn't count. <sighs> Yeah, right. I think uh, Tony Randall, the actor, had a baby when he was 72. So oh, that's, did him. Um, that's right. What, um, who was the guy that was over the mansion with all the ladies that were in there? You have, you have yeah. 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 Yeah, he had it later. I don't think he had a baby. He kept a bunch of babies. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's keep moving on. <laughs> fun fact. Who's, who's, okay. Presidential fun fact. Theodore Roosevelt set what was then the world record for the most handshakes in one day. Whoa. With 8,513 handshakes at the White House reception. On January 1st, 1907. Wow. That, yeah. Free COVID life. Yeah. I was thinking like so much hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. You're living okay. life dangerously over there. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of handshakes. Yeah. Like handshakes, not like high fives. Like, ooh. And who's <laughs> counting? Like, how are they counting? One, two. I mean, who's counting the handshakes? Right. I don't believe that fun fact. Who they're, really? They're, no, 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 no. They, they keep an official uh, handshake counter. In the I was thinking community. about that. I did hear about that. Like contact tracing <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> this is before the Spanish flu, too. So <laughs> I feel like maybe it would just be like that's where the amount of people that were there and he made sure not shake everyone's hand. I have no idea. I wasn't there. But <laughs> <laughs> even the people who didn't want, he's like running down. No, you're gonna shake my hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think this is our last one. The following one is going to be our last one. You guys ready? Yeah, got it. All right. Okay. Maybe. It says Ronald Reagan appeared in 53 Hollywood movies from Love is on Air in 1937 to The Killers in 1964. Yeah. I didn't know, you know, I knew Ronald Reagan was an actor, he was a Western. Um, mm -hmm. actor. But I didn't know how many movies he actually had a appeared in. And this actually was before he was president, obviously. So And before he was the governor of California. Yeah. yeah. So. Wow. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh, he was the governor of California? For a second, for a second, I went, my mind went somewhere else. And for some reason, I wasn't thinking about Ronald Reagan anymore. And I was thinking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> so, <I was> like, <laughs> so they crossed in my head for a second. I was like, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> makes so much sense now. <laughs> yes, they did. Back, right? He's uh, not a drama. Yeah, I think it was just uh, thinking about, how do you say this, like actors that went into government. So mm -hmm. that was not me. <laughs> yeah, I, I I would try, but I, I cannot do an Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation, so. No. Just like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a poor impression right now, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, that was fun. I actually learned a little bit of fun facts today that was really good that was, that was this is on little yep fun fact so wow all right well i guess it's that time so we just had a really yeah. short um it actually went longer than i thought it would but that was time flies when you're having fun right it does it does yeah money's almost over already so mm -hmm. almost <laughs> <laughs> we're just getting started so 
All right. Well, I guess, you know, we have things that are coming up later on this week. So stay tuned. Um, we normally do our updates. This is a holiday. So we just are going to keep it simple today. Any any last thoughts before we head out? Well, uh, when we end, we could say hugs and kisses. I mean, Hiram Ulysses Grant. Who does not want that, right? That is a great, <laughs> yes, it's a great initial. Seven initials. Yes, hug. My middle name is Anthony, last name Chung, so Sack doesn't really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm. Well, if it, if it makes you feel any better, alone. if it makes you feel any better, I originally wanted to. If we had a girl, it was it, her first name was going to start with an A, middle name S, and our last name is Salcedo. And my husband said, "No, that is not happening." So. <laughs> yeah, she probably would. Her classmates got a hold of that. Not they might have teased her a little bit, right? Yeah, maybe. That would have been so messed up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. All right. Hey, well, who's going to take us out today? Yeah. Zach, you want to count us out? All right. I'll count us down. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you're having a great President's Day today. Uh, tune in because we got, we're got we doing this again next week. So appreciate you. Thanks. All right, you guys, on the count of three, big, be bold. One, two, three. Be, be bold. bold. Be bold. <laughs> Bye. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. Woo.